in case you are building with Claude or Anthropic AI, this video is for you. I am going to talk about their prompt library. So Anthropic has provided a prompt library whereby they provide a lot of prompt templates to use with their LLMs. So here, if you look at this prompt library, there are various prompts. Okay, you have these certain work prompts, you have certain play prompts and you have all prompts. For example, I am interested in using Anthropic uh, Claude for my, uh, you know, work, right? Uh, one interesting prompt which I looked at was cite your sources. Okay, so here is it uh, here. Uh, this prompt is about how to get answers to questions about a document's content with relevant citations supporting the response. This prompt is quite interesting and here they have an use case of a financial document. Okay, so here they are saying full text of a particular financial document and this is the prompt. Okay, so there is a system prompt and there is the user prompt. Okay, and when you are using in the API, you can actually, uh, you know, uh, send both the system um, prompt and the user prompt okay and based on that the response is generated by the model so here they are using Claude 3 opus i'm not going to run or anything i'm just looking at this prompt and uh, here it tells about you know this is a particular prompt where it is that you are an expert research assistant here is a document you will answer questions about so that is the full text of that document Okay, so here it is the, uh, you know, financial document, a 10K filing document. Okay, and then it says that first find the quotes from the document that are most relevant to answering the question and then print them in numbered order. Quotes should be relatively short. If there are no relevant quotes, write no relevant quotes instead. Then answer the question starting with the answer. Do not include or reference quoted content verbatim in the answer. Don't say according to quote when answering. Instead, references to quote relevant to each section of the answer solely by adding their bracketed numbers at the end of relevant sentences. And here is the format. The format of the response should be like this, right? Uh, and you have the question from the user. Okay, so the question from the user is that is this particular company doing well okay here it is matter part okay now given this kind of a template you get output like this where you have the quotes where it says we have experienced rapid growth okay our gross profit decreased our net dollar expansion rate and based on these quotes the answer is this right matter part has experienced rapid customer subscribers revenue growth in recent years however their gross okay based on this quote reference their gross profit declined okay uh, based on this particular quote their net dollar expansion rate indicates strong subscriber this thing overall this thing so if you want to analyze financial documents this is a very good prompt template okay and if you are using cloud 3 or cloud models over here like this they have various uh, prompt templates over here here you have a, a code consultant uh, prompt template okay so here the system prompt changes like this your task is to analyze the provided python code snippet suggest improvements to optimize its performance identify areas where the code can be made more efficient faster or less resource intensive provide specific suggestions for optimizations along with explanation of how these code changes can enhance the code's performance the optimized code should maintain the same functionality as the original code while demonstrating improved efficiency Okay, so this is the system prompt for a code consultant. Okay, so here they also have this Python code of how you can make use of the system prompt along with the user request, right? Uh, and how you can call the API from Python. Okay, so it is very simple over here. Uh, this is how they show it. Okay, you have to install this Anthropic library, create a client with your API key, and this is how you are going to call the API. Okay, where you specify the model, output tokens, a temperature, and this is the system prompt, which you will copy and put it for this code consultant. And in the user prompt, you, in the user 
uh, this thing user message you will basically put the uh, for uh, the user you will put this particular program okay as the message in the user content and this is the system prompt okay this prompt and if you do this you will get the output like this okay so there are various uh, various use cases over here and prompt so instead of you breaking your head over what is an optimal prompt and other things you can first try out this prompts which are present in this prompt library and then you can tweak it based on your need so this is very interesting um, you know the prompt library provided by anthropic so you can check out for your use cases which kind of prompts are useful from over here it gives you a starting point and based on that your experiments you can go about improving these prompts for your use cases i hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video